Hey, it's a French student here, and today we're going to be having a coding session where I'll be creating a simple program that reads from a CSV file and use the information. So first of all, I created a CSV file, which is just simply a comma separated values, file containing comma separated values. And we first of all have a header, like explaining what's in the file, and then we have the information of the file. So we have a SKU, which is kind of like a identifier for some kind of a product, this is transactions list. Then we have the quantity of the product and then the price and the name of the product. So first of all, what we do first when using a file like this, we would like to get the input from the file. So in this case, I just have my file inside my source folder together with my main method and my main class. So I would just be able to create a scanner, which is gonna be our input stream and that's a new scanner which takes a new file which is our a transaction text file but we would actually need to first tell it where it is so it's inside our source folder and then we have the transactions.txt And we would then need to throw an exception because this file might not be there. So we just add exception to our method signature. So our main method just throws found that found exception if it don't find a file. So let's check first if we can get the first line. So we would just create a string line, which would be equal to our input stream. And we would like to get the next line. So we get the first line of a document. And let's just first test it works and print our line. So we just print a line. And we get SKU, quantity, price, and description. That's fine. We won't actually use this line at all. It's just to get rid of it. So we would also like to actually count the total sales because it is a transactions list. So we think that we sold 50 of the sodas, five of the t-shirts, 30 of the Java textbooks. They're pretty expensive and 25 cookies. So we would just create a double, which we call total. And we'll just set it to zero at this point. So this is kind of like you think of the program as something running in a shop or something where you have someone, maybe not, one person buying all of this, but this is like a transaction list of the day maybe. And then at the end of the day, you would run this program to calculate the total of the, of the sales throughout the day. So now we got rid of the first line. We would create a while loop. So while our input stream dot, dot comma dot as the next line, we would just like to continue and what we would like to do is just simply first get the next line. So now our line equals our input stream dot next line. We would then like to actually extract our information because right now we just have a string containing, for example, all of these values, the SKU, the quantity, the price, and the description, then we would like to create a string array, which we're just gonna call array. And that equals to line dot split. And we will be splitting on the comma. So now we have an array containing SKU, quantity, price, and description. So using this one, we can simply just add the values or kind of like extract each item. So I would just extract the items by actually first getting our string SKU equals array of index zero. And we'll just keep going our end of our quantity, 
equals array of index one our price which we would make a and of course here we get an error because right now it is a string a part of a string array so instead of just doing in quantity equals array one we would like to do integer dot dot parser int which transforms our string into an integer and we do similarly with a double price which equals a double dot pass a double which is our array at index two and then last we got a string which was our let's see what we call it description and that is simply just our array of index three so in this case, very simply, simply, we're actually just accessing and extracting all our basic information from our CSV file. So we get in a line, get all the information, and then we would just like to output our information. So I would just simply print some information going. We have the first SKU, which then is our And actually, we should use a small s because we're using camel case, which always means we're starting with a small letter. So SKU, get the SKU. And then we have our quantity. So let's add like a comma. So we've got our quantity. And we have our quantity. We then add let's see what we got next, then we have our price. And then lastly we have our description. which this is just actually just more or less printing the same, but what it allows us to do is simply actually accessing this information and use it for something. So right now we're actually just printing it again, more or less to the console, but we're actually getting it inside, or we could add these maybe to some kind of some other arrays, some other systems or whatever. But right now we just simply, we just simply have information inside our program. And you could definitely make a much like cooler line, which means we have so many t-shirts of price, what, with number, what. But I'm just going to create very simple right here. Description. Description. So we print that to the screen. And then we would like to have our total be added with our quantity times our price and then after running all of them so after having all our items processed through our system we would like to just print our total total There we go, and let's give it a run. So we get our numbers, our quantity, our price, our description, and we have a total. So that is pretty much the basics. But if we just want to do one thing, that's kind of, it's, it's, it's not necessary for it to run, but it is definitely good practice. It is to close our input stream to make sure no data get lost. 
which tells the program that now we're done accessing stuff from our document and then we can keep going. So in a small program like this, it doesn't really matter, but it's good practice and you should also always close streams when you're getting some kind of information to your program or out of your program. So that's very much the basics of this coding session of accessing information from CSV files. Hope you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you a wonderful day.